this is our first tutorial where we will be blinking an LED we have a LED I can show you I'm trying to show you we have this LED which is connected to P0.10 of LPC2148 microcontroller so first we would going to write the code for this LPC2148 microchip and then we will load the hex file into the microchip and then I will show you the effect of the code so let's go ahead and write the code first so let's begin to write a code i'm not sure you are following this video tutorial series one by one so i recommend you to watch previous video to learn how to set up the workplace for kyle microvision 4 before you start writing code any further so i would like to show you a web page which i will be using for my reference to uh, copy the code from so it's a website called binaryupdates.com and here is an article which is a blink led with arm 7 lpc 2148 microcontroller uh, you can find the link for this web page in the YouTube description box so you can copy this entire code from here and uh, Paste into your source file. So let me copy this code and paste it into the C file So once we paste the C file here Once we paste the code here, let me explain to you one by one what each and every line stands for so first line is a standard include statement which uh, we have to include the standard header file lpc214x.h because we've been using lpc2148 which belongs to this series of microcontroller and we must have to add this header file so that's what we have done um, in the next statement you can see we have initialized an integer variable which is a delay delay variable and we've been using this delay to uh, generate the random delay between turning led on and off uh, so uh, next is a uh, main function which is very important where actual program gets start executing so inside the main you can see there is a statement io0dir in this statement what we have done we have initialized the data direction for port 0 and pin number 10 into the output because we have been using uh, as we've been turning led on and off we have to we know that led is an output device so we have to uh, configure it, it into the output mode so that's what we have done here by setting the data direction for p0.10 the next is a while loop which is a never ending loop you can use for loop as well but i use while and i'm comfortable to work with while so this is a never ending loop whatever we write inside the while loop that keep on executing um, into the into the microcontroller so it's very important to understand what we write inside so let me explain to you the first statement is io0 clr this is a register and in this um, register we we are setting this bit, bit number 10 this bit 10 and uh, that turn the led on because we have led connected to connected in uh, common anode configuration and when we set the bit low then we turn led on the next is we have used a for loop which generate the delay somewhere around one second and then we have used the statement io0 set uh, what happened here is we set the bit number 10 um, and uh, we use the port 0 and we set by setting this uh, this bit number 10 into this io0 set register we turn this led off and then we again generate a delay so what happened is we turn led on and then we put the delay then we turn led off and then we generate the delay again so this is how the blinking is going on in this um, in this example so let me build the code so once we compile we see there is uh, zero error and one warning a warning that we don't care for this program so let me show you when we debug the code uh, we can verify our code works pretty fine so hit on debug button and then we get this uh, pop-up box then hit on ok uh, once we get this um, once we hit the ok we get this pop-up box this dialog box which shows the status for all gpio port pins so once we run the code we see the effect so let me hit this and you can see here is a bit number 10 which is a p0.10 and it's been blinking around one second of delay so this is how you can verify your program that works fine on simulator and let me show you how you're gonna download this hex file that is output file from this program into the microcontroller so let's stop the debugging so 
let's go back to the folder that we have created here is a blinky folder and we have this uh, blinky.hex file oh it's not generated so we have to go back to the program and then we have to go to options for target and then go to output and hit on create hex file and then hit on ok and then compile it again and now you have the hex file so if if we go back to the folder we can see blinky.hex file so let's download this hex file into the microcontroller and see the effect on the real hardware so let me run the code and as you can see right now this LED is blinking with with the delay and um, I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye